Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to do something that's just a little bit special. I'm going to do a review on something I know very little about. It is an FSH-2A homogenizer. Here we go. Here's the unit with everything it comes with, and we get small, four small glasses, vials for mixing. We get two probes, a small one, and a larger one. I, I kind of like this. These little holders for the vials, you can put them around here, keep the things in place, <laughs> and knock everything over, of course. Those are um, those are magnetic, and they stick to the bottom there, so you can put them anywhere you want. I was a little worried when I first saw it in the picture, I thought, oh boy, if they really hard mounted those to the surface, to the platter there, that might be a problem, but nope, not at all. Over here we have a knob that we can loosen. And that will allow us to adjust the motor up and down. It is a little floppy while you're adjusting it. So it's a good idea to kind of do it carefully. And obviously two hands because it will just free fall. Um, on the bottom, there's also another little twist knob that allows you to open up the area underneath where you put in the actual probes. And you've got a, a, a little mark here on the shaft. It shows you how far the probes have to go in, and they do have to go all the way up in there. Sometimes they don't want to do that. There's a, a little catch mechanism in there. You got to spin them around and get them to grab. Here's our switch. It does have a, um, a click on and off at the bottom, and then from there it's a it's a variable variable resistance pot that uh, turns up the speed of the motor on the top. Here we have a display. I'm not entirely sure what that display is showing. It says that it's showing the actual RPM. I don't know if they're actually monitoring that or if they're monitoring a voltage that well, is representative of the RPM or what they're doing. I have no idea. But at any rate, it gives you, uh, it shows you that it's as you turn it up that the thing is going faster. So, and you can also hear that in the, the motor as it winds up. And the moment we've been waiting for, I hope. I hope the camera will catch this. We're going to give this thing one minute. I've got um, my e-juice in there. Just everything poured into it. All the ingredients added. It's waiting to be stirred up. So let's click it on. Got it on a second switch as well. And turn it up till it starts moving. go. Slowly turn it up. There it goes. Okay, so what can I say about this thing? Um, looking at the advertisement, it will um, 
homogenized tissue, uh, plant um, particles, all down to two to five point, uh, yeah, uh, two to five microns. Um, according to the advertisements, it will help you find DNA strands. It will um, split atoms, cause black holes in the universe, and drill um, holes in granite. You know, a lot like all of their advertising. Um, I think there may be a, just a bit of hyperbole in there. Um, at any rate, the, the probes themselves give you an idea what the measurements are on them. The larger probe is 17 and 3 quarters millimeters in diameter and you can go down into a flask or a beaker or whatever approximately 93 millimeters on the smaller of the two probes diameter of the probe is about 11.75 millimeters and that depth will go down about 86 millimeters although the probe itself it blooms out a little bit on the top on the top it's what oh my 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 sorry to take a lot of time here but about yeah about 17 millimeters and so that's if you have a 17 millimeter opening on your bottle flask whatever um, it should go down about 95 centimeters the probes are obviously a single are obviously single bushing probes um, where the the spindle end of the probe goes in it, it moves around quite a bit here you can you can feel there's one pivot point in there um, other probes such as pro scientific will use two um, it is the the probes are um, uh, airproof as far as I can tell um, tried blowing on the end and I couldn't get it to blow out the uh, exhaust ports here the cooling ports so I mean they should seem quite functional obviously they'll wear out sometime um, but that time will only tell I have no idea um, what it what it does do at least the larger probe the one that I tested is increase one heck of a suction I mean you could see that that probe was probably about yeah somewhere between a quarter and a half inch uh, maybe even more I'd have to measure but off the bottom of that flask and it just sucked that the, uh, that juice up real nice and pushed it back out uh, as far as the, how the juice is I've done three now 120 millimeter batches and they all taste good to me um, <laughs> real good to me so what does that mean as far as reducing time of steeping or you know thoroughness of mix compared to any other methodology I have no idea I have no idea um, however yeah I'm in, I'm enjoying it I like the one minute mix that's pretty darn nice and like I say they come out tasting really really good um, I don't see where any other method that I've used is any better this may be better I don't know maybe time will tell you know uh, in that regard have a little more time to you know taste a few more juices and you know do a few more comparisons whatnot but I guess with that um, that's about all I can think of to talk about at this point in time um, I just wanted to as much try not so much try to review it because I'm not I don't feel qualified to try to review such a thing um, but just to demonstrate it and show people what it'll do um, the cost point on it is absolutely amazing for any kind of homogenizer it just um, it's something else so anyway with that thanks again for watching wonderful time as always hope to see you soon